in this series of videos, we will slowly derive a set of extremely useful formulae which I shall call as algebraic relationships which will help you in your geometric calculations. The most popular formula in this setting is the cosine formula. Let me just go through the standard notation again. The angles are given as capital letters and the sides are denoted by the small letters and the formula that we are referring to is cos of this angle A let's say cos of A very nice and symmetric B square plus C square minus A square divided by 2 times BC now this formula is by itself extremely useful and uh, so but it's a straightforward application of the Pythagoras theorem so we draw a right angle and one immediately sees that this is C sine A and this length would then be B minus B cos A and all we need to do is apply the Pythagoras theorem to this right angle triangle and we are done. So this is going this would mean C square sine square A plus oh, I'm sorry this is uh, B minus C C sorry C cos A so plus B square plus C square cos square A minus 2bc cos a and this is equal to a square and we immediately get the formula that we have written on top. So now we will see how a little manipulation of this formula will give rise to several useful and in fact very neat and symmetric looking formulae. So our first gift from the cosine rule in this category is the following so consider the parallelogram and we'll label it as a b c d and the opposite sides of the parallelogram are equal so we label it as such and let us call the diagonals as d1 and D2. So this diagonal is D1 and the other diagonal is D2. Now the nice formula that we are referring to is as follows and I do hope that many of you have not only met this formula but also have it in your memory bank and um, how does one get this good looking formula? All you need to do is apply this cosine rule twice. So I shall do that now cos A is nothing but B square do refer to the diagram minus D1 square and this 2AB I shall write on this side and now I shall apply the cosine formula to cos B this time and you will readily agree that it is equal to A square plus B square minus D2 square and the 2AB once again I write on this side and the last nice thing you need to remember in a parallelogram is that the angles A and B are supplementary and this would mean that cos B is equal to minus cos A and so if I write this as minus cos A then and then add up these two equations and you will straight away get I think this nice formula. So already you can see that um, the cosine rule is very useful but we have still a long way to go before we have fully exploited all the gifts of the cosine rule. So I shall now use the parallelogram formula to derive another very well known formula and that is so I'm going to draw 
in the setting of a triangle. So I'm going to do a slight relabeling here, which you should be able to follow very easily. So, in, so since I'm going to do a triangle, I'm going to call this A, B, C. And this time I'm going to follow the standard labeling of a triangle and so this will be called C, this will be called A and I'm going to call this side as A and remember that A is in the previous setting D1 and what I'm gunning for is a formula for the length of the median okay so I'm going to label this as MA and do note that MA is nothing but D2 by 2 and this implies that D2 in our previous diagram is equal to 2 times MA and now I'm just going to use this formula to get a formula for MA and uh, how will this look so D1 is nothing but A so we have A square plus 4 M A square is equal to 2 times A square plus 2 times B square so I've used this formula and this gives me 4ma square is equal to 2a square plus 2b square minus a square. Now this is a nice algebraic formula which gives you the length of the median. So I would like to stop this particular video of remarkable formulae at this juncture but I have something very nice to tell you about this formula I will not be able to do the proof in this particular video but I do want you to note that note the result and also note the fact that we will return to this again so what is it so I just wanted to tell you that the converse of this is true and uh, the proof is worthwhile uh, is true Be the proof is worthwhile because it results in a very nice geometric construction so right now we'll just state the theorem and uh, it goes like this if you take a quadrilateral and if it turns out that take a quadrilateral and if it turns out that the diagonals D1 and D2 are such that D1 square now let's label the sides of the quadrilateral as A, B, C, D if it happens that the diagonals satisfy the condition that d1 square plus d2 square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus d square then we can conclude that this quadrilateral that is a b c d is a parallelogram so i'm going to return to this but for now Please do remember that this could be a useful algebraic relationship.